I've been painting probably all my life. My mother was a painter and I loved painting with my mother. She was primarily a portrait artist. And she used to say, squint and see what color you really see. And when you look at something that's gray or brown or you would think it had no color. And when you'd squint and really think about it, you'd see incredible colors. When I started painting here in Chestertown in the river, I started painting all different kinds of subjects. I was just looking for inspiration. And the, this river is such a valuable resource and it's my inspiration too. So I just kept going to it and getting closer and closer to the subject. I'm trying to get away from the pretty picturesque views and trying to get to really see it, to get really close to it. I usually go out into the river either early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the light is more dramatic. And I just paddle around until something strikes me. And usually it's some kind of composition. It's the way the light hits the grass. It's the way uh, a couple of branches will interact. It's, I never know until I see it. I take a lot of shots and then I usually sit on it for a long time. I don't try to capture the moment and go right back home and paint. And sometimes I come down to the studio and sit here and just look through pictures and draw for hours. It's great therapy. And that's when I usually discover something that I didn't see when I was out paddling around in the kayak. And then I start simplifying and distilling it down just to its basic elements. Because I'm really after a mood more than realism. I'm not a realistic painter. This is the most exciting stage because it's like another person. It's talking to me. I find little conversations going on inside this flat plane. These leaf shapes are kind of, they echo the shapes between the branches and the reflection, and yet these will be very powerful and strong, and then the, this whole background grid will be very soft and smoky. So you have a, a contrast and a, um, a, a tension between the smooth surface of the water and the smoky reflection and these the jarring, powerful shapes of the leaves. And you have that kind of back and forth, light and dark, uh, bright and muted, and looking for the resolution. I've been so lucky to be living on this river for the last 20 years or so, 26 years now. So much along the bay and in these rivers is in danger and it breaks my heart. I try to do this not just for my own soul but to show the rest of the world how this lifeblood that we have with this river and with all our waterways is irreplaceable and once it's dead and gone, you can't bring it back. Once I got into the kayak and was able to get out into the river instead of being a guest along the edge, I had a completely different feeling for it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this river. The work of Marcy Dunn Ramsey can be seen at the Carla Massoni Gallery in Chestertown, Maryland. We'll be right back.